Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I've got a short video for you on how you can build an organizational template gallery for Power Automate. Let's go. Okay, so I've got a bit of an embarrassing story around this whole episode. So if you would have asked me a week ago, could you build an organizational template gallery in Power Automate? I would have said kind of. I would have you know, talked about how you could go ahead and export packages or solutions and make them available on a SharePoint site etc and then go ahead and be able to use them but what I didn't realize was a hidden gem that lives inside of the send a copy feature so I've used the send a copy feature multiple times both like when I've sort of did some discovery and blogging but also like in the real world and sharing templates with coworkers that they could use to go basically modify and build out their process what I didn't know until this week and I just stumbled across it was the shared with me feature that lives inside of the template gallery itself that allows you to actually see what has been shared with you. Now you might be thinking, well, is that still a template gallery for your organization? Well, kind of, but I think you can definitely make it very close to being so by using Office 365 groups. So what happens is when you use the send a copy feature, you can include recipients, individuals, or you can actually send it to an Office 365 group. Now that group can be as big as you want it to be. It could be a core team, it could be you know a business unit, it could be IT, it could be the whole company, kind of up to you. But what happens is when you do that, everyone in that group now gets access to that template. And how you make it discoverable? Well, you do get an email, but you will also always find them in the shared with me feature. And that's sort of the core of this content is this whole shared with me feature that I just stumbled across this week. And it's kind of crazy. I was thinking, well, like I'm generally pretty well in tune with what's going on with Power Automate and Flow. So if this is new to me, I have a feeling it'll be new for others as well. So that's the purpose of, of this episode and we're gonna dive into it right away here. Serverless Notes is a community resource that covers best practices, tips, and latest announcements built on contributions by technology enthusiasts and collated from various resources. This resource is structured as first-hand reference material for anybody working with Azure Serverless integration. You can go ahead and subscribe to newsletters and browse serverless tips. The Serverless Notes community is brought to you by Serverless 360, a portal focused on operations and support for Microsoft Azure Serverless resources. It provides exceptional tooling that is not available in the Azure portal and is an alternative to custom-built solutions. You can find more at serverless360.com. So we're going to dive into the portal here pretty quickly, but I just wanted to illustrate through slides how this all works. So this is the send a copy feature. It allows you to send a copy of a flow to another person, provided it has run successfully since the last time changes have been made. So here's an example. I provide a title, a description, a send to, maybe it's John Doe. And then John Doe will go get an email. We'll receive an email that allows him to click on a link and say, go ahead and provision an instance of this flow. It doesn't remain, like it doesn't stay in sync if I make changes to the original. It is disconnected, but it fully allows them to go ahead and modify as they see fit. Now, this is really where that secret sauce comes into place. And this is how it really becomes more of an enterprise template gallery is by including groups. By including groups, people that belong to that group will now go ahead and see those flows in a feature called Shared With Me. And this is part of the templates. And this is why it's a little bit hidden in the sense that templates are typically very public. Like whenever templates are you know, submitted to Microsoft, everyone has access to those templates. Using this feature, that's not the case. It remains inside of your organization and only people who have been explicitly shared with can go ahead and find it. But what this allows you to do is always return back to that location as a starting point to go ahead and build out your flow. And in the demo, I'm gonna illustrate why this is really important. So with that said, let's just go ahead, let's get right into the demo. All right, so I'm in the Flow Maker Portal or Power Automate Maker Portal. And what I wanna do here is I wanna have an enterprise template. And I want this template to be the starting point for every flow that is going to be created by my team for example. And so as part of this, I want to ensure that we're doing the right things from an exception handling perspective. And that involves having the proper scopes in place with configure run after settings 
And then also what I'm going to do is introduce this concept of an enterprise login component. And really what this is, is this is a custom connector that I've created. And I want to ensure that people are using this custom connector to log events. Now, in this case, we're going to have a process scope where we're going to do like the meat of our work and basically have all of our processing. And at the end of that, what we want is this, this step to exist where we're just going to acknowledge that it's an information type of event and that we've successfully completed this work and just have an audit trail of it. And we can have the application name and a description and even have like business related data as appropriate just to, to capture that info. Now in the event that we have an error, like let's say we have a bunch of steps prior to this and one of them fails. Well, then we're going to go ahead and kick off this scope. And that's where we have this configure run after setting where it's going to say if this other step has failed, um, is skipped, I guess we could add is timed out as well, then this will actually go ahead and run. And here we're going to change it and call it out as being an exception. And we'll also have details about the specific run instance. So this is my template. I want everyone on my team to go ahead and use this template. So now I can go ahead and save it. Before I can use the send a copy feature, I do need to run it. So let's go ahead and let's run it. And perfect, it's run successfully. So let's go back to the main page for this flow and we can click on send a copy. So here's the YouTube enterprise template and I can say, please use this template whenever creating a new flow. Perfect. Now, just to sort of prove the point, I can send this to an individual. So we're gonna send it to John Doe. And then we're also gonna send it to my team, the enterprise integration team. And I will now go ahead and click send. Cool, so now that's done. And John Doe should have access to this flow as is in addition, the rest of the team. All right, so I'm not gonna show you the email. I think that's pretty self-explanatory, but I will show you the templates feature and the more specifically the shared with me tab. So here now I'm logged in, I've got John Doe and I'm gonna go ahead and click on templates. This is where I'm gonna see all of the public templates. None of that has changed. That is still as is. But if I click on shared with me, this is where we're gonna see any of the templates that have been shared with me in the past. And sure enough, we will find the template that I just showed you called YouTube Enterprise Template. And so we can see that it hasn't been used yet. Um, you will be able to hover and say number of flows have been made with this template. So certainly as the template author, that would be an important metric for you to keep track of. But now I can go ahead and click on this. Establish my connection and now I have a copy of this flow. Now what I should be doing though is I will then implement my own logic. So maybe let's just do, just to keep things very simple, I'm just gonna add a compose step to this. I'm gonna move it, move this down and say, you know, hello world. Doesn't really matter, it's arbitrary, but I can now go ahead and save this. I can go ahead and change this and say my new process and get rid of the original name and then go ahead and click save. Naturally, I can go ahead and test it and run it. And life is good. We've got our compose step in here and I'm now disconnected from the other one. So just to prove that here, this is the original. Let's go hit edit and then let's just refresh just to make sure. And then we'll go ahead and look and sure enough, we do not see the compose step that it is in the modified version. So that really concludes the demo. And hopefully this gives you a good sample or a good idea of how you can use this as an enterprise template and how you would go about doing this is through the proper way of sharing. And that would be through Office 365 groups. And then naturally you go ahead and define how big that group is. There is no current way to go discover things. So that's where I said there's still a, a bit of an edge case here that you have to deal with. But if you're really focused on consistency and certainly around the scenario I showed around like having patterns in place to ensure people are building things in a similar manner, that is a great way to go ahead and use this feature.